This episode was supported with donations from the community. In this episode of Learn Quick, I'll be learning how to reverse a trailer. Driving this. <laughs> this is alarmingly fast. All right, let's farm. It's impossible. Can't be, it can't be done. Ah, it's a tractor. Today, I'm here with Crawford from Crawford's Farm. Heavier. Mike is in. It's a YouTube channel all about farming. All about farming. Yeah, and uh, it's got some of the gnarliest thumbnails I've seen on YouTube. <laughs> Try to get people to, <laughs> to click. The one with the, the calf half out of the cow. Yeah, that's pulling a, the calf out. That's a risky uh, YouTube channel. I didn't thumbnail. know how that would do. The, <laughs> yeah, YouTube didn't like that so much. Anyway, the point is, it's a fantastic Scottish YouTube channel all about farming. And uh, he got in touch with me and said, why don't you come and learn a little bit? So today, you've got a challenge for me. And it involves yeah. this. So, what I want you to be able to do, drive this tractor, first you need to learn to do that, yeah. and then put a trailer on the back of it, big trailer, and I'm gonna get you to reverse into that big shed behind us without wiping out the shed. I, th I like how he calls that a shed. Look at the, si <laughs> look at the size of it. <laughs> right, okay, I mean, it I've seen your channel. You're uh -huh. reversing stuff all the time with the, you know, the relaxed. Yeah. It's a skill that I take for granted, but mm, if you've not done it before, it's quite tricky. Yeah, I think that. I think this will be fine. Okay, where do we start? Let's show you how to drive that for a start. Right, cool. Let's do it. Crawford has insisted that I put on this to look more of the part. This is the most excited I've been about learning how to do something in ages. Honestly, predicted 10 minutes tops. This is huge! Yeah. <laughs> Yay! A tractor! Is this why you asked me how tall I was? For the suit? <laughs> and I accidentally replied, seven foot nine. Do I look good? Does it, uh, is it fair? Right, what you got for me? So, right, this is a New Holland. New Holland. 7 210. So 210 means 210 horsepower. Crawford then proceeded to explain the intricacies of this tractor, which I found difficult to appreciate. Yes, it's like a Bugatti Veyron torque. Yeah. I've actually driven one of these before. Have you? Yeah. When? Um, Farming Simulator 17. <laughs> it's got really big wheels. Right, okay. So where do we begin? Let's get you in the driver's seat and I'll show you what the buttons do. Right, reversing a trailer in a tractor. This is day one, hour zero. Yeah, right. So let's get let's get you comfortable. Okay. Yeah. So Before attempting to drive, Crawford first gave me a quick demo of the interior, which to me seemed complicated. It's exactly like a car. Where's the gear stick? That's thing. Like, yeah. How many gears have we got? It's exactly like a bike. Three ranges. Of, three. Uh, three ranges of I think it goes six, six, seven. So it'll count from one to 19. Is what? That... How... Wait, how many gears does it have? 19. 19? 19. 19. That seems, that seems too many. And they've got 19 gears and they still go that slow on the road. Yep. And that's clutch. Yeah, clutch, brakes. There's two brakes left and right. They're linked together. And there's another pedal here. Don't click that. You, you said this was just like a car. Right, it's, it got nine, it's got 19 gears, so you don't need a clutch. <laughs> apart from this part. Yeah, but it's got four wheels and a steering wheel. <laughs> okay, fair enough. And we're off. Cool. Interestingly, farm machinery is measured in hours, not mileage. So this has done almost 6,000 hours. That's how much time I've spent playing Dark Souls. You ready to drive? Yeah. Clutch in. Okay. So, what are you going to do? Clutch in, then you've got this shuttle here. Uh -huh. And you go, it's in, so once you pull it up to there, that's now in forward. Can I let the clutch off? Yep. And it's, but it's still in neutral, right? Oh, it's not in neutral, okay. It's no, in, it's in it's forward. Okay. <laughs> don't run over Kim and don't hit the sheds. Anywhere else is good. Right, we're driving a tractor. So you can just let go of the clutch completely. 
Yep. And then I can just use the gas, right? Yep. Okay. I like it. You like it? Yeah. Take it home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's next? All right. We're tractoring. Holy sh! <laughs> this is alarmingly fast. We're at full power now. <laughs> I like this. I think farming suits me. Small man in a big car. Right. I think I can drive the tractor. Let's get the trailer attached. To do that, I'd need to use these enigmatic buttons, switches, and sliders. Oh, I don't like this at all. Ah, you missed. I missed! Well, you're too far to the left. You need to go right by 40 mil. <laughs> okay, I can see it. You weren't far away at first. Oh, yes! yes! Oh, my God! Did I f someone up there? Oh, perfect. Up a bit. All the way up. Right. <laughs> Hell, man, that was hard. And you just do that like ten times a day. Yeah, well, usually once the trailer's on, you're good. But yeah, it's pretty. Once you, once you, once yeah. you get into it, it's much easier on farming simulator. Rather than immediately destroying Crawford's barn by reversing into it, it seemed wise to practice going backwards with the trailer in the field first. Okay, so these hay bales represent the the drive. Yeah, so you're going to be beep, sat here. Beep. It doesn't actually make a beep, does it? It doesn't make a beep. No beeps. Okay, right. And then you're going to come back, come back, don't hit those bales, reverse through that gap. Through that? Through that gap. That's Easy. tiny. I couldn't reverse my polo through there. And I have to get go through here without touching these. And this is this represents your barn. Yeah, so if you hit that in real life, or once we get to the then proper I'll thing... I'll be destroying your property. Yeah, video scrapped. See you later. <laughs> well, right. So if I can reverse through these hay bales, I should be able to reverse into the barn. Filled with confidence gleaned from a video game, I give it a go. This tractor weighs seven tons and the trailer empty weighs six tons. To think that someone's let me loose on their farm with this much equipment is absolutely mental. This is impossible! I feel I might have clipped a hay bale. Just maybe. So I see the hay bale in my sight. And now I need to uh, reverse. Too tight, too tight. Let's go forward. The story was always the same. Either I couldn't get the trailer to turn at all, or it turned too hard and I jackknifed. Usually in the wrong direction anyway. Ah! <laughs> that is so hard. Right, come on. For the life of me, I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. Right, I give up. I am not too proud to admit when I need help. It's impossible. Can't be, it can't be done. There's no way that fits through there. 
So why is this difficult to do? Well, it's complicated. Firstly, the tractor and the trailer are huge. It's difficult to see the back of the trailer in the mirrors, but that's not really the issue here. The problem arises from the fact that when reversing, you are steering from the back. When going forward, you just point the wheels in the direction you want to go and drive. Going backwards, now the wheels that steer are at the back. So you need to position the front wheels to make the rear wheels face the right direction. This is inherently unstable, and that's why you constantly need to correct your steering when reversing. Add a trailer into the mix, and now you need to position the tractor so that the wheels of the trailer point where you want to go. This many layers of separation melts your brain. Minute Physics has a great video about this, where he likens a tractor-trailer system to a chain. It's easy to pull the chain any way you like, but practically impossible to push it in the right direction. I thought it would simply be a case of steering the opposite way I'm used to when reversing. And that is incorrect, and explains why I'm having so much trouble. This is impossible! Perhaps a demonstration from the master. Pretending I understood what Crawford was saying, I tried again. Right. Let's see if we can get this done. There we go. There we go. There we go. We've got control now. Right. Let's straighten this up. This time lapse shows that no matter what I tried, I just could not point the trailer in the right direction. Tractor. Ah, this tractor. Crawford tried explaining things again, and this time he said something that clicked for me. Forget the steering wheel, ignore the direction of the front wheels, forget about steering the opposite way, forget about all that. Just focus on the angle between the trailer and the tractor. When the trailer's pointing where you want it, maintain that angle. And for me, that was finally something that made sense. Right, that was better. Let's try that again. We had to make sure I really had this down before trying it for real in the barn, but it did seem like something had clicked. Yes! Ha <laughs> I am in! <laughs> right, what he said to me clicked. Ignore the front wheels, right? What's important is the angle between the tractor and the trailer. That's what matters. I was able to repeat the skill on demand too, which meant I felt I was ready for the real test. Piece of cake! Right, one more. Yep, I got it. <laughs> right. Yes. Right, let's hope he, I don't destroy his bloody barn, eh? Must admit, there's a little bit of apprehension here. Um, because, well, I'm away to attempt to drive into Crawford's barn. If I mess up his barn, well, how much do you think a barn costs? It's a lot. Next time, I'm behind a lorry driver who's going too slow. I'm not going to complain, because this is built for comfort, and it's remarkably uncomfortable. Alright, time to attempt the real thing. 
Crawford insisted that to make this realistic, the trailer must be full. So he loaded 16 tons of wheat into it. Good luck, babe. Right. Let's not f this. Right, we are in, and no one's dead, and the band's still, the barn is still standing. Oh yes, look at that. I'm farming. I farmed something. I never grew it, I never sowed it, I never harvested it. But I reversed it into this shed. Tell you what, Crawford trusts me much more than he should. Because, although I successfully did this, he didn't know if I could do it or not. <laughs> yes! I didn't destroy someone's property! <laughs> oh! I think that is enough for one day. <laughs> This episode was supported primarily through a tip jar model on Patreon. If you'd like your name in the credits like these wonderful people, you can contribute a few dollars to the channel via the links below. Thanks, as always, to the people who've already supported the channel. I really do appreciate it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one, folks. I'll catch you next time.